All right, for some odd reason, we chose the week of January 18th to try and beat the ASR's long-standing record of 58 prep games covered in one work week. We enter tonight's coverage with 34 games already in our archives for the week. Matt, Danielle, and Mike Milburn riding shotgun on what we hope will be 13 more tonight for a grand total of... I know, I know, 47. That is correct. We start at Poway. Uh, the Titans hosting Canyon Crest, where Titans coach Jay Truesdale is looking to uh, tie the CIF record for career wins. Lady Titan Chanel Jamison knocks down the triple. Then Dana Stewart with a nice dish to Aaron Brunanski for the easy two. Coach Truesdale will tie legendary Santana coach Wade Vickery with 610 career wins. He'll go for the record next week, the final 37-22. I have seen a lot of basketball, uh, 29 years with this job. Uh, you know, it's been a great, great run. Uh, hopefully there's still a lot more to go. Boys Avocado East action, San Marcos making the trek to Escondido. The Knights' Johnny McWilliams cuts through the lane for two of his team high 16. Then Marcus Hentley, time winding down in the first half, hits it from NBA range at the buzzer. But check out Keegan Cummins. The senior throws down seven dunks. That's a whole touchdown worth right there and finishes with 32 points as Escondido wins it 70-52. Danielle. Some South Bay Hoops action up next. Chula Vista hosting the Aztecs of Montgomery. Chula Vista's Jay Gonzalez knifes through the defense for the layup. He finishes with eight points. Montgomery's Tim Crawford drives and scores two of his 14. Later on, the Aztecs' Kyle Paranata beats the buzzer with the three. He finishes with a game-high 19 points as Montgomery hangs on for the win, the final 52-42 Aztecs. In the Avocado West League, the mighty La Costa Canyon Mavericks hosting the El Camino Wildcats. The Mavericks' Jeff Newcomb with a step-back jumper for the home team. Then Sean Burke with the sneaky inbounds pass right there to Eric Pierce for a Wildcat bucket. And then Pierce, this time from Christian Campione with the dipsy do for two. The final, El Camino 70, La Costa Canyon 58. All right, a rivalry game taking place in the South Bay. The Eagles Olympian hosting modern day. Olympians Joseph Liang uh, cans the three-pointer. He finishes with seven. Later, modern day's Jordan McDaniel dishes to Cameron Smith, who scores two of his game-high 17. Crusaders roll to a big win in the final, 74-38. Gilson. Top spot in the Western League on the line as both Cathedral and Mission Bay start the night at 4-0. Opening quarter, Don's Brandon McCoy with the follow-up slam. Then in the second, Austin Beach with a rim rattler of his own. Third quarter, the Bucks. Justin Moore will get in on the action, steals it and gets the bucket and one. He scores a game high 24, but McCoy is the player of the game. He has 23 points, 11 boards, and watch these six blocks as the Dons win it 71. 59. In the Grossmont Hills League, the Foothillers traveling to Helix to face the Highlanders. There we go. Jamar Wynn leads the Highlanders scoring with 16 points, but Grossmont 6'10", Tom Rutherford gets a game-high 23. The final, Grossmont 49, Helix 43. Over to Stampede Arena, the Longhorns playing host to the Carlsbad Lancers. This is Alan Graham hitting from three-point land for the Lancers, but RBV's Connor Ramirez saying, anything you can do, I can do better. He's got that NBA range as well. He hits the three. And later, Trevor Sunseri nails the jumper, helping the Longhorns roll to the win. The final 60-50, to 50, RBV. All right, we'll stay at RBV for the ladies' matchup. The Lady Longhorns welcoming Carlsbad Lancer center, Kim Wynn. Hits the 20-footer to keep Carlsbad close down to the other end of the court. We go Longhorn forward, Maggie Ross, also from 20 feet, and then she'll add a big three-pointer late in the contest. The Lady Longhorns win this one, the final 69-62. to Matt again. Back to La Costa Canyon, the LCC girls hosting El Camino. Chastity Pow Pow is going to drive the lane and put it up for the Lady Wildcats, but this one is all Mavericks. Alexis McCain with the nifty pass to Colleen Haggerty for the LCC bucket, and later Haggerty takes it herself, splits the defense and scores. The Lady Mavericks win big 70-41. Norman. We go to the turf at Cathedral, the Dons hosting the Coronado Islanders. In the second half, Islanders Anthony Changa in transition slips it by the keeper for the first goal of the game. Moments later, after that, Chunga on the break again. He manages to cross the ball to Thomas Tomas Braniff, who scores. Coronado wins it 2-0. Let's jump in the pool. Hilltop making the road trip to take on West Hills. 
West Hills freshman Fallon Burnworth finished with a hat trick for the Wolfpack, but Hilltop led by Mildred Monsavias with three goals. You'll see one of them coming up right there. And Sophia Espinoza with four goals would go on to get the win. The final 10 to 7 Lancers. And we'll finish up with one more in the water. Uh, this is West Hills or uh, Port Loma facing off against Elkap. It is. That's Bree Lind puts uh, one away of her two scores while teammate Megan Van Awarden would add four of her own. Elkap cruises to the big victory, the final 15 to 3 Lady Vaqueros. Now we're going to take a break just a little bit. That gives us, we did, we started with 38. We added third. What is that? Where are we at right now, guys? 12. We're, no, we added, we're at, we added, we're at 47, we so we need, left. we need 12 more. Final thoughts, everybody. Still sad about that Helix game, guys. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> uh, if you like this, we'll have lots more tomorrow. We'll see if we can break that record. And Matt. Looking forward to the X-Files coming back on Sunday night. <laughs> oh, and we'll have all these highlights uploaded to our social media sites in about 30 seconds. All right, when we come back, Allie Wagner introduces us to Scott Bassett. It's a must-see piece of TV. We'll be right back.